everyone, it's Karen Lee, and welcome to my show, The Karen Lee Potter Show. Today, I have the fabulous Brianna Banks. Um, kissing is very important. You know, if a guy is a bad kisser, usually they're going to be bad at everything. <laughs> so It's exactly um, what I think. Like, so yeah, uh, what do you, what makes it? A lot of guys don't kiss. I don't know what happened, Aww. but a lot of guys don't kiss. Some of them, I'm like, oh, I'm fine with that. But, you know, some of them, like, I need the kissing to kind of get me into it. And uh, if they're bad kissers. Uh, well, let me ask you, what makes it? From, like, lube. <laughs> Can we get some lube? Lube. Lube on aisle one. <laughs> lube on the set. So what makes a I'm good a kisser? I'm a very well lubricated girl, but um, if I, the guy's a lousy kisser, we're going to need lube, lots of it. Well, how do you, well, what, what do you make a good kisser, I should say? Um, I hate people that drool a lot. Like, uh, you know, I mean, uh. I like having, I, I, and I'm a dirty girl. I like having guys spit in my mouth and uh, all that. But I mean, I guess just the rhythm, like you guys either have a rhythm going or you don't, you know, and I, I like like lip biting and uh, soft kissing and then, you know, more into the aggressive kissing and, mm -hmm. You know, much like anything, I like um, anticipation, not just lunge your tongue down my throat. Right, I right. I don't like that at or, all. Or when they're so wide yeah, and you're or, like... Or you're like, oh my God, that thing's going to eat me. It, it's almost <laughs> like a St. Bernard or something, you know, that kind of thing. What? Yeah. Um, so in terms of oral sex, what type of, what makes someone good at going down on a woman? I actually just uh, did an article on this. Uh, Perfect. Uh, yeah, um, Brianna Banks has tips on oral. Where can so they? That, where can people find that uh, article? It it's um, I'll repost it. It's on on my Twitter. Feed, okay. But I'll repost okay. it. But um, uh, you know, number one um is uh you know tease lick lick around it the legs the panties. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, make the girl wet before you even touch it. Mm -hmm. Um, that turns me on anyway. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, take the panties off and, you know, um, play around it, uh, graze it, breathe on it, but, you know, hold off as long as you can before you actually put your tongue or your mouth on it mm -hmm. and then start slow and easy and uh work your way up into this <laughs> i'm pretty good at eating pussy so i'm just giving you my tips and yeah i like these tips seem to like it <laughs> so so basically i agree with you that you don't want to go right down there for you know and i think guys get so because they like it if a girl goes right down on them instead of teasing them although I, i'm sure that if they were teased they'd like it too but i'm saying they don't get that women especially need that extra time to just like get in that you mean zone you don't like your clit bitten and sucked to death <laughs> right away not no i do not <laughs> right? like that oh. i hate that actually and especially when it's too forceful i do not like that yeah, either well I told somebody I was working with if they did that to me again that I was going to do that to their penis. So. Right. Well, <laughs> I'm like, so if you bite my clit one more time, I'm going to bite your dick. And uh, they didn't do it again. <laughs> because there's, and I'll tell you, there's more nerve endings, way more nerve endings in a little clit than the whole penis. So there is no reason for them to be like not getting that part. And as Nina Hartley told me, suck the clit like you're not yet hard cock needs to be sucked. <laughs> exactly like I, it's like uh, if i wanted a hitachi i would go get one exactly like, your tongue shouldn't be moving that fast or that hard yeah it's not until necessary I, until i'm ready for it anyway and, right and then then you could have it go like that but you don't want to go right into that it's a it's a gradual process yeah so and yeah. and, and unfortunately do you... a lot of guys even in the industry don't either I don't think don't like eating pussy because um, they probably had a few bad experiences as have I um, <laughs> or um, they just don't know how um, I'm not sure <laughs> wow 
Or you in porn and you don't know how to eat pussy. That's like saying, I don't know how to suck, suck, suck dick. Well, how, what were your tips on sucking dick? What would those be? Um, uh, well, That's your next I, article. I, I, I learned on camera, like I said. I mean, I like I didn't know you. I just used to lick the tip on my boyfriend. <laughs> um, I didn't know you actually like went down and stuff. And um, I just kind of experimented, you know, used my tongue, um, teasing, licking, spitting on it, playing with the balls. And then I learned I had no gag reflex. So oh, I my. actually went on how. Howard Stern and uh, I won porn star. Um, what was it? Uh, you were on Howard Stern. Yeah, this was uh, uh, maybe nine years ago, and it was with like Sibiana and Mercedes and uh, all the old school Vivid girls and uh, porn star factor, and I won. Uh, we were deep throating Calabasa, and it was like this long. And, um, you know, they would put the little toothpick where every girl and Tara Patrick's like, oh, Brianna's got this. This isn't even fair. <laughs> and I got it. And that Kavasa and Howard Stern's like, and it's gone, ladies and gentlemen. There is no more Kavasa oh. toothpick. So you didn't so, ever know that you, I mean, because I remember getting like, you know, like, um, you know, a strep throat test, you know, like, and they, they put that tongue depressor down and I'd be like, and you never felt the need to gag when that happened. Amazing. So that, that would help a lot. Cause I mean, there's a lot of things if I was doing porn that I'd be scared of, and that would be one of them that I'd vomit all over the place. If somebody did that to me. No, once I got in touch with my sexuality, I liked the control that I had over men. And ah, that's interesting. I, yeah. Looking them in the eye and taking their whole dick all the way down. Oh, I don't know what it was, but it gave me like a sense of, of complete and utter control. Ah, see, now I talked to um, Derek Pierce. Uh, do you know him? <laughs> yeah. I just, I I just worked with him about two months ago. Oh, yeah. He's adorable. He's great. Yeah. And um, how was he? Great? Yeah, he was awesome. But unfortunately, I was playing. Uh, we were the perverted husband and wife <laughs> that fucked our babysitter. Oh. <laughs> so it would have been a, probably a lot more fun was if it was just me and him versus the 20-year-old uh, in the middle. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Get rid of that youngster. We don't need her. But um, he was saying that it's not always that great for him to be deep-throated because I, I guess it may not always be that comfortable. Well, if the girl doesn't know what she's doing and grazes her with her teeth, then absolutely I guess not. that would be bad, too. I just want to thank you again. It's been wonderful, and uh, it's, it, you just really are inspiring. You've gone through a lot, and uh, you seem to really have a uh, – you got your shit together, girl. <laughs> Thank you. I decided that uh, 37 was a good year to do it. <laughs> it's better. And it's never too late. I, 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 I've reinvented myself many times. Well, I thank you so much for thank having you me. Thank you so much. And I love my fans so much. Great to know that. Bye-bye.